John's awesome. Um, I love his way of thinking and the way of uh, starting new things. Um, John Clancy has given us, uh, he has taught us the Bond movement and it helps us uh, bring life to the character by movement. Working with this cast, it's been really fun, mainly because I, I know pretty much everybody. We're students here, we, we know each other, um, and we already had some somewhat of a bond, and it's just, it's been really fun. I feel like we, we've connected, and we've actually grown more together with John Clancy. So it's something that we're, we're bringing to you as, as, as friends. Holy crap. I, I honestly, words can't really describe the experience that I've had with John Clancy. It's just, you know, it's, it's kind of like you really can't go wrong. If you, of course, if you are responsible enough to do the stuff that you're needed and asked to do, but it's just, I don't know, you just learn so many new things and it's kind of like, it's okay if you make a mistake because you learn from it and then you actually can use that to your advantage. So it's just, I don't, he's just an amazing director. I, there's really nothing else I can really say. He's just awesome. Oh, he's awesome. He, his vision on this play is, it's just amazing. Um, I'm learning, well the whole, cl the whole cast is learning so much from him. And it's just this whole take on the play and the message is just really amazing. It's something totally different. I love them. Uh, I mean, we've been friends since before the show, so of course we're still really close now. But um, because of that relationship before, we're bonding so much more as a cast. So um, that's also awesome. Uh, and we bring, we bring our friendship, but we also bring our passion for acting together and we just feed off of each other in each scene. I think John Clancy is a genius, in all honesty. Uh, his approach, I think, is really cool. I think he's cool himself. He, he makes the work so much fun. And uh, a lot of the stuff he's taught us, like the bomb movement, has been really, really helpful. And the way he sees things is so much different. It's not commercial. So it's like it's fun to work with somebody who's very artistic in that sense. Laban is great for making character because it's Laban is about physical uh, attributes and the first thing you can define in a person is how they walk or how they move their hands or how they look or how they carry themselves and those physical choices can really help you build a, a great character you know you can tweak it a little bit there and change it here but overall the physicality is is really refreshing especially in this kind of work. So the bond movement is basically like a kind of like a dance technique, but it's not really dance. It's just move a movement of the body to describe a character because acting is not only in the face. Learning that I'm a dabber and figuring out how to work opposite of that, it helps me figure out my character because um, I know that maybe she's not a dabber like I am. Maybe she's a floater or a glider or a flicker or a puncher maybe. But it does help um, help you understand the character a lot more. It, it helps you with the movements. It helps you with the ways of thinking, how to speak. And I think that's really important when finding and developing a character. I would say the Ice Cream Man is a very direct character. He knows what he wants. He's going to go for it. He's not going to leave until he gets it. And that's, that's a big part of the bond, um, whether you choose to be direct or indirect. So the bond movement is like helping me shape my character as a scar tissue, um, changing it up to be a homeless man, and also changing it up to possibly be, possibly be an angel. I was actually shocked by how much that would actually work. Because obviously we started doing that at the beginning of rehearsals, but I started thinking of it like towards my character and I do have two different characters that I do play but I will not state because I want you guys to see the show and you'll find out but it's really amazing how if you just change a mindset of a movement it can totally become the exact opposite like something from as simple as just floating and you can just change and tweak little things and just make it oppress and make it someone who's really aggressive and I just I was just blown away by how simple it is to make two complete contrasting characters and I, I plan on using it and learning more about it in each show that I ever do.